This is Ryan Sullivan of Cyunus and Fitness, and this video lectures on proper form and technique while squatting. The first method to holding the barbell is probably the most popular. It's where we rest the barbell on our traps. Next is uh, considered the powerlifting style, where the barbell is placed on your traps and your rear delts. Probably even more so on the rear delts than shown in this video. Uh, it's just hard for me to demonstrate because I'm very uncomfortable with that with that technique. Next is using a foam barbell pad wrapped around the barbell. This cuts down on the pressure on that neck region. Is an example of that. And last, we have my personal favorite using the manta ray. The manta ray is a product that will clamp to the barbell and will mold to your neck and shoulders, and it'll take a lot of strain and stress off that neck area. Here's what the manta ray looks like. You can look this up online. Now we'll take a look at the squatting movement. Notice as I squat, everything's nice and controlled. I'm not off balance. I'm not moving too fast. I'm not moving too slow. I'm in complete control. Notice from the side, you can see I'm bending down to the point where my knees are almost at a 90 degree angle. You can go even further than that. I'm looking up, my chest is out. Again, you see as I come down, my knees are going to reach the point of making a 90 degree angle. My back is arched, which is going to poke my chest out. So I have good balance. You're not going to hurt your lower back. This is an example here of a deep squat where you're going past that 90 degree angle. If you have knee problems, if you have knee surgery, I would advise against this. This is how not to squat. Notice here how I'm bending forward. Instead of having that arch on my back, I'm leaning a little too far forward. If you could actually hear me in this video, if I didn't have audio, you'd hear me cursing because it just feels so unnatural to me. A lot of lower back pain is how a lot of people get injured. Now we'll look at what to do with your feet. This is big now. If your feet are close and your toes are straight, it's going to hit your quads as a whole with no real emphasis anywhere. Once you move your feet out a little wider and point your toes out, it's going to hit your inner thigh and it's going to hit that teardrop part of your, of your quad, the lower quad. Do not wear shoes with shocks or bubbles while squatting. As you can see here, as I'm squatting, there's a lot of motion, a lot of compression going on. It keeps you off balance. It can actually be pretty, pretty dangerous when you're using heavier weight. You don't want this movement to be going on around your heel. You want to wear shoes or boots with a hard or flat sole. No movement. This way you can drive through your heel and really focus on your quads. Also something you want to avoid is when you start squatting, you want to make sure, as shown here, that you do not lean too far forward. Your heels should never lift off the ground. You want to actually drive through your heels. Another good tip I learned at an early age with squatting to keep your balance, not only should you arch your back, but concentrate on looking upward at about a 45 degree angle. Look at the corner of, of the wall, where the, where the wall meets the ceiling. Try to focus there. Keeps you balanced and keeps you from rocking too far forward. You want to make sure you get deep enough. You, want to, you don't want to do partial reps. Come up and push through your heels. Again, we're going to look up, come down, nice and controlled. Keep the back arch, chest out. And that, my friends, is how you squat.